Welcome to the channel, I'm Lee Burke and this is a YouTube upload video tutorial. So I'm going to step you step by step through the process of uploading your videos to YouTube so you can publish them and start getting viewers straight away. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so I'm over here on my YouTube channel and what I need to do is just click this little icon up here that says create a video or post and then just click on upload video. You'll be taken straight to this screen where you can either select the files and browse for them on your C drive or drag and drop them. So if I just open File Explorer, what I can do is just find the video that I want to upload and just drag and drop it directly onto there. You'll see that graphic which indicates that it's starting to upload and then down the bottom here you'll see the percentage uploaded and then once it's finished uploading it will actually need to process. The text and everything you see here are your actual defaults that you've set up if you set them up in your settings. So it will pull all that through and you'll need to edit that. So this is just a default title but the video that I'm uploading is about a YouTube subscribe button so I just need to change the title. I've got also the title in the description here I go through I need to change my description here about what the video is about up here in the description I also link to the actual link for the video itself so if you want to include that you can just get it from the right hand side here Control C and then I can paste that in here so share this video with your friends and followers so that's the correct link then if we scroll down you can see that you can upload a thumbnail so I create all my thumbnails in Canva I created a great YouTube tutorial about that and you can watch that by clicking here. So let's just click upload thumbnail and then I'll select the thumbnail from my C drive and click on open and that uploads the actual thumbnail there. Now the playlist you can actually add this to a playlist that you've already created or you can create a new playlist. So I have this playlist called grow your YouTube channel fast which I add all my YouTube related content to so I'm just going to add it to that and you can tick multiple channels or playlists there that you've created to add to there. Just click done. Whether or not this is made for kids, if it's specifically made for kids, you can click yes. If it's kid friendly, like this particular video is, but I didn't specifically make it for kids, then just leave no selected. And then you've got this advanced age restriction uh, where you can uh, restrict to only 18 plus. Importantly, down the bottom, just click on more options. And what we have here is whether or not your video contains a paid promotion, uh, product placement, or endorsement if it does just tick that one there and then you have your tags here now again this is pulled in my default tags that I have as my channel default settings but I can click the cross next to any of those and then add in new tags by either typing them or I have TubeBuddy installed and then it gives suggestions for me down here as well you can notice here that you only have 500 characters worth of tags that you can add I'm up to 487 so if I add any additional ones from TubeBuddy down here I will need to delete some of the other ones what I do when I'm looking for my tags from the TubeBuddy suggestions is look for the higher ranked ones. So anything that's a green, which would be excellent, like this one, I would add. But that one's actually irrelevant to this particular video because I haven't changed my title yet. But say I wanted to add one in, I would just click plus and it gets added in here. But you can see that one's actually tipped me over. So I need to remove another one. Now with your video elements here, it's important that you have processed at least 100% of the single density video, the SD video down here. So my video is completed uploading and now it's going through a processing step. And once it's completed the SD, it will do processing for HD and then all the processing is 100% complete. Now you can see over here, we've got the second step, which is video elements. Now we won't actually be able to move through to that until SD processing is complete, which it now is. So we'll just finish this step. So down here, we've got the language. It's automatically English. So I'm gonna leave that there. We have our caption certification. This content has never aired on television in the US. If it has, you can choose one of the other options. Uh, you can upload your own subtitle or CC track by clicking here. You can add your recording date and location. I'm just gonna leave those as none. Importantly, your license and distribution. Now by default, it's going to default to the standard YouTube license, but you can make it a Creative Commons, which means anybody will be able to download your video and use it for any purpose that they like. 
like for themselves. So I just leave it as a standard YouTube license. I allow embedding and publish to subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. Category, generally I do a lot of tutorials so I'll leave this as education but if you need to change it you can select from any of the categories there. I hold inappropriate comments and I sort by top and I show how many viewers like and dislike this video as well. So I just leave it at that. So next step is the video elements. So just click next. This will take you to your video elements where you can add cards and you can also add an end screen. So I'm just gonna click add end screen because I already have an end screen built into my video, which I recommend you do as well. So what that means is YouTube already knows that this end part of my video is my end screen and it's based on this template here, which is two videos on the left and a round subscribe button on the right. So I'll just click plus to add that there. Okay, and then what I can do is click play here to test and make sure that looks okay. Okay, yep, so I've got my subscribe button there. I've got my two recommended videos of which one is a recommended playlist and one's just a recommended video, my royalty free music video there. Okay, but you can click on either of those to change them if you need to. You can add additional elements or you can select another template if that's what you prefer. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and click save. Okay, I'm not gonna add any cards at this point, but this will be where you call out other websites if you're recommending things throughout the video. You can add cards. So I'm just going to click next okay and you come to your actual publishing here you have a couple of different options most likely you're going to publish as public okay so you can just leave the default unlisted or private is if it's for your private membership or you know you don't want people being able to search or find your video okay so private only you and people you choose can watch your video or unlisted is anyone with a link can watch the video an instant premiere you can set so when you set your video in instant premiere you and your viewers can watch it together at the same time. If you're publishing at a particular time every week and you want to be in the comments there when all of your subscribers jump on and start watching your video you can set it as an instant premiere but this can be overdone so you don't want to be doing this every time you upload you kind of want to keep it for those special occasions and then it just gives you this warning down here before you publish check the following do kids appear in this video and looking for uh, guidance and then you've got the learn more links if you want to click those over here just give you a preview so you can click play to preview that or you can click on the actual link. I always do this just to make sure that nothing broke when it uploaded the video is actually working and so then when I hit publish down here it will publish correctly. Next thing I do after I publish it is I just go I, I do click here and I go over to the published video and I go into the comments and I just leave a first initial comment just welcoming people to the video and asking them you know if they have any questions that they can comment below. Okay so so that's my overall process. So thanks for watching this video guys. Thanks for staying to the very end. If you found this video useful, do hit subscribe. I have more great content on my channel to help you grow your channel as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please jump into the comments, leave a comment. I'm always in there reading all the comments and I'll answer your comment on the comment feed. See you guys in the next video.